Welcome back to the program. We love telling you about what is happening at our local YMCA and the Greater Des Moines YMCA it has a very special event that kicks off tomorrow, folks. Uh, welcoming Week at the Y begins on the 14th. So we welcome a, so two incredible guests joining us to talk more about this global idea along with the YMCA. So we want to say good morning to Eric Kress and Emily Osweiler. Thank you both for being here. Thanks so let's talk about Welcoming Week. What does that mean? Yeah, so the Y believes that our entire community is our community is stronger when our entire community is represented. So we're pleased here in Des Moines to join over 400 YMCA's nationally to celebrate that um, through Welcoming Week. Um, welcoming is something we do all the time, but we're focusing on it specifically to let our, let our community know uh, over the next 10 days that all are welcome. Um, this year's event, this is the third year that the YMCA has hosted this, and uh, really focusing on the fact that um, uh, the Y's are a place for immigrants to feel welcome. And so, uh, you know, if, if people are unsure of whether the Y is for them, if they're worried they'll be able to integrate in our communities, we're really, really saying, yes, please come to the Y. We uh, embrace you and uh, we want you to be part of all that we do. Yeah, it really is a cross section of what the community really is all about, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. And um, the strength of this event is connecting newcomers to our communities with longstanding residents. And that's really one of the purposes of this goal is people can come together and uh, get to know each other better we know then our community will become more uh, connected and uh, strengthened and less divisive. So how are we celebrating or supporting this idea at our local wise? Yeah, there are some events, but for the most part, this is a public relations um, campaign. You know, we have some just little activities for our members to do at the Y. Okay. Um, one of them is uh, we want people to know that the YMCA's welcome you. So you'll see signs like this in our facilities. Um, Emily and I each have brought little activities called I Am A Welcomer, and it's gonna give the opportunity for all of our staff and members to write down why they welcome immigrants in their community, why that's important to them. We've got activities of uh, uh, maps in our facilities so that we can all share where our families immigrated from because we're, for the most part, all immigrants to this, to this, um, to this country. And so just to celebrate our backgrounds, where we come from, and uh, we also have these beautiful berry red t-shirts that <laughs> we're sporting uh, this week as well. Do you think by doing something like this, by saying uh, your name and a little tidbit about uh, why this is important to you, it kind of gets the conversation started if someone is feeling apprehensive about joining something like the Y? Absolutely, getting people talking. We call them nuggets at the YMCA. Is nuggets, they're just little you're, you're opening activities. Little yeah, to uh, just get people talking, connecting with our mission. And uh, the Y for all has um, always been an important part of our mission. So if we can get people together, connected, developing relationships, and that all starts with talking and seeking, you know, understanding and getting to know one another. So now, where are these Absolutely. signs going to be? Yeah, do you hanging onto the signs? You walking around with them? Well, how are people going to see these signs? Yeah, so we're going to put them up in our in our program areas, our hallways, in the YMCA. Um, we also hope to gain some social media traction with hashtag Y for All and. Uh, um, hopefully you will see a presence on that in some of our social media platforms as well. There you go. Well, Emily Osweiler is here. She's the executive <coughs> director of the supportive housing campus at the YMCA. And how are you yeah. getting involved in the welcoming week? Um, well, the YMCA supportive housing campus is a community solution to help eliminate homelessness by providing hope, dignity, and support in the form of a home. And so, um, you know, the Y is all about strengthening our community. And this is one way that the Y shows up to do just that. Um, we have 140 efficiency apartments for people mostly coming out of homelessness um, or who have other housing barriers. And, you know, we believe that everyone has a story and everyone wants to feel a sense of belonging. So we, this is kind of what we're doing all the time is we're trying to welcome people. Um, currently, we have, I think, seven nationalities represented at, in the residence of our YMCA nice. supportive housing campus. And um, this this week and this event is a great way to lift up that, you know, everyone has a story. Everyone deserves a sense of belonging. Now, for those people that don't know where the campus is, tell everybody where it's located. Um, it's at 2 Southwest 9th Street, downtown. Um, beautiful campus and just a truly organic community that's formed. Um, you know, the Y believes that communities are stronger um, when we include everyone and when everyone feels welcome. And that's really important to us at Supportive Housing. Absolutely, and I agree with you, Emily. This is something the Y does on a regular basis, but we're just kind of focusing and highlighting it uh, with this special, uh, like you said, global event. And as you mentioned, there are events going on, like a something happening with the Waukee yeah. YMCA specifically? Yes, uh, Sunday, September 20th. Third, we're having okay. an open house from two to five at the uh, Y, so our whole community is welcome. We're trying to take a uh, kind of a cultural 
um, flair to it to uh, introduce things that people may have not been exposed to before, such as have you ever played cricket? I know I haven't, but we're going to have a demonstration there on how to play cricket, so to connect people who uh, that may be part of their culture and their heritage to teach people who it's who maybe it's not, okay. and again use that because yeah, it's a, huge around the world, and yeah. uh, there are very few people in uh, the USA know what cricket's all about. Right, we're going to highlight um, yoga classes, uh, a Bollywood dance class. Um, we're going to show the movie Coco in our pool. Um, and have some food and things. Just again, just an opportunity to bring people together and get people talking um, that may not otherwise, as well as um, let people share a little bit about what uh, where they came from and what uh, m you know makes uh, them proud and uh, their culture unique. So I'm um, really looking forward to that. Now, is this just for Y members, or we're saying anybody can come and experience this to see what the Y is all about? Yeah, thanks for uh, mentioning that. This is for our entire community. So no no membership needed that day. Um, come on in and we'd be happy to introduce you to our community. Wonderful. Yeah, and that's happening over at the Y. I mean, over at the Waukee Y, Waukee right? Waukee Y. Okay. And uh, I also hear the Wellmark YMCA will be open this weekend for uh, guests, so it's a great time to um, check out uh, that facility as well. Now, we were talking just a little bit ago about the supporting housing campus, uh, mm -hmm. and again, it, it sounds like an amazing facility, and uh, for people that want to just uh, try to get a little experience as to what this is all about, is there any chance for them to, to take a, a peek around and see what this is all sure, about? Sure, sure, and we are also having an event on Tuesday, September 18th, um, we're having kind of a taste of type of okay, event. Okay, that's coming. That's just coming Tuesday. Yep, to yeah. celebrate Welcoming yeah. Week um, within our residents and volunteers um, coming to kind of serve different cu cultural foods. We have ten different countries represented. Oh, there you go. And some different activities like a cultural bingo, um, origami table, some different things. We've been interviewing some of our residents who are immigrants and feel comfortable sharing their story, and um, should be a really fun time. Yeah, so uh, again, you said how many different nationalities there, seven? Um, right now, seven, you know, it's ever changing, but yeah. Are, yeah. Any, are there any openings in your facility right now? Um, not right now. We are okay. full. We have a wait list continuously. Okay. Um, but and the reason I'm asking, in case someone uh, knows somebody that might be interested in uh, in housing right. in that manner, how do they go about getting on that list? Um, well, I would encourage them to either check us out online, dmymca.org, or come down. They could get a tour, um, and you know, apply and get on the wait list. Okay, that Absolutely. Works. Lots of great things happening, as it always does. It's not just about a place to work out. It's about being a part of the community and right. creating a wonderful community here in central Iowa uh, and all across the great state. Uh, if people want more details, because we listed off quite a few wonderful events and other activities that are happening as we're introducing Welcoming Week, how can they get those details? Yeah, I think the best place to go is, um, as Emily mentioned, our website, dmymca.org. Okay. And uh, from there, you'll see some... Uh, banners and things that will direct you to program info. All right, so Welcoming Week uh, officially gets started uh, tomorrow and runs through the 23rd, but you guys are welcoming at all times, right? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. The United States of Us, and we want to remind you to use uh, social media, hashtag Y for all, uh, and hopefully other people can share their stories and what the Y means to them, and uh, we can really create an incredible community here with the YMCA. That works. Well, thank you both for coming thank in. Thank you. Thanks Great to see us. you. All right, it's 730.